Hello guys, this is your monthly reading for November. This reading is for Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What's going on with my Aquarius friends for the month of November in love? Aquarius. Huh. Let's see what this is. It's fire energy there. Leo, Sagittarius energy. Hmm. You guys are very defensive of your your status, your position right now, I feel. You guys are going for the gusto and not allowing anyone to get in the way. Taking a very, like, <laughs> defensive standpoint, defending what's yours. Okay. What is the energy around my Aquarius, friends? The energy around my Aquarius is... Four of Wands, a lot of fire. Happy, 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 happy. Who else got the Four of Wands? I want to say Sagittarius did, but there's a feeling of contentment that's around you guys right now. Um, Aries energy. Some of you have just gotten into relationships and um, you're happy with the person that you're with, um, but mostly this is your own energy of feeling happy um, stable content some of you have just moved into a new apartment or a new home even starting a new business cutting the ribbons on it um, just some good shit what's challenging or crossing my Aquariuses ha the world there we are the world is always an ending to something wrapping up something wrapping up a cycle Saturn learning lessons there's some lesson there's something that you guys are missing even through your contentment and happiness and stability and you know all of these fantabulous things that are going on there's something that I feel like um, is missing there's something let's see what is missing here for my Aquarius friends okay let's see what this one is first the nine of wands shows up again Hmm. And the Six of Swords. Remember I said with the Six of Wands and the Nine of Swords, you guys are very defensive of your vantage point. Um, not allowing anyone to get in the way of what you feel like you deserve. Now, I feel like there's there's somebody that wants to have a conversation with you guys wants to smooth something over with you um, I don't know if you guys are holding a grudge but you're blocking you're blocking that from happening or somebody is blocking you from um, smoothing things over with them blocking a conversation not wanting to have a conversation not wanting to move forward, not wanting to move on. Sagittarius, Aquarius. You know, I'm getting that. I don't think somebody is blocking. I don't think you're blocking somebody. I think somebody is, is blocking you. They have walls up. There's something that this person feels like um, that somebody here did to offend them. They feel offended by something that you guys did. Let me see. This is interesting. What is the offense that said that Aquarius inflicted. What is the offense? Oh. The lovers. 
They feel like you guys chose someone over them. You chose someone over them. Some of you guys have actually gotten into a relationship. But this relationship is a result of someone like choosing <laughs> their person over someone else. Gemini, Sagittarius energy. Aries energy as well. The fence is that you guys didn't choose them. But you know, I don't see how that oh there's unfinished business here with this person. There's unfinished business here. There's something that you need to wrap up with another situation. There's something that you guys, you have some unfinished business with someone, okay? We have Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Aries, Gemini, Sagittarius energy here. What is the underlying issue here for, Sag for oh, Sagittarius? Underlying issue for Aquarius. Ooh, Eight of Wands. Yeah, you definitely did have a conversation. That's the underlying issue. Um, moving past this situation, moving on. So even though I feel like you guys have involved yourselves in something else, there's a situation that needs tending to that you haven't quite let go of that's still lingering energetically. There's some unfinished business with someone else. There is definitely some unfinished business here for you guys. And in order for you to truly be happy, you need to address something. Okay. The recent past for Aquarius. The Ace of Wands. Yeah, I get that. You started over. <laughs> There, there's a situation that you started anew. Very excited about it. This is a, an exciting time for you guys here. I feel like you're very attracted to this person, this new person. Um, but I wonder if it's, it's a sexual thing. I don't see any cups here. Hmm. But there's something that's making you happy nonetheless, okay? Crowning thoughts for Aquarius. The Hierophant. Ooh. You thinking about getting married? I think some of you are thinking about getting married. Committing at least. Having something very traditional. Knowing what you want. You feel like you know what you want. Definitely feel like you know what you want. Let me move these cards over. I'll spread them back out for you in a minute, though. This is Taurus energy. What's coming in for... Okay. What's coming in for Aquarius? Five of Pentacles. That's rejection. Hurt. Some of you are, are actually... Either somebody is leaving, somebody is rejecting an offer, you're rejecting a relationship. Um, there, there are some conflicts coming in and somebody is going to feel hurt um, and reject it. I don't know if this person that you have gotten started with is going to reject some offer that you guys are making or they're not turning there this person's probably not
turning out to be what what it is that you want or what it is that you're expecting because I get that you're very happy but again I don't see any cups so I don't know if there's like an emotional connection here or just a physical connection so there may be some disappointment coming from this current um, connection and it's not what you thought it was going to be it's not all cracked up to be you know what you originally thought okay guys again Taurus energy here um, I feel Aries Taurus is very present here let's see what this is these cards flipped over the six of cups the high priestess and the king of wands um, you guys feel like somebody in this situation is your soulmate But I feel like there's some distance between you that um, whoever this is, you haven't spoken to this person. But I think both of you are feeling the same way here. I'll turn these cards around so you can see the Six of Cups, the High Priestess, and the King of Wands. You definitely have a fire energy here um, that's not speaking. I don't feel like you guys are speaking to them either. But this person feels like you guys are their soulmate. Mm. This is somebody you're separated from, I do feel, for sure, because there's no conversation here. There's some unfinished business with you and someone else. Okay. How is Aquarius viewing this situation? Page of Cups, you're smitten. By what's going on here and it makes you happy it makes you happy I just don't know if the other person is on the same accord with you I know there's a past person like I said that feels like you guys are their soulmate and that you're probably not speaking to and definitely have some unresolved feelings and some unresolved business there okay this is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. What is the influence here for Aquarius? Six of Wands. I feel like you guys want to feel like you're attractive. You want to feel like you're wanted. Um, I'm getting that you definitely would like to uh, start dating and, and be recognized as an attractive person. Okay, you want to be successful in your endeavors as well. The Six of Wands and the Nine of Wands, again, you know, these cards are repeating themselves. I feel like you guys are definitely going for your happy and you're not going to allow anyone to get in your way. Now, what I need for you to do is to not get in your own way. Okay, Leo energy there. Hopes or fears for... Aquarius. Eight of Pentacles. You want to work on things. You want to continue to grow. You want to continue to build. You want to continue to be better. You don't want to go backwards. You want to go forwards. You, you're wanting to build a legacy for yourself. You're wanting that very strong, committed relationship as well. Something that you can like hang your hat on and be secure in. Okay? Virgo energy there. Overall outcome for Aquarius. The Emperor. Look at that shit right there. Again, Aries energy. Aries, Taurus. Very strong for you guys, some of you. Okay. The outcome here is I feel you guys definitely standing in your power. Um, I feel like, you know, you know what you want. And I feel like you will go and get it. And when you feel like you've done enough, then you'll chill out. But I feel you're very in control over your life and your destiny. I do feel that, you know, there's something that you're missing. Um, there's definitely something that's not been resolved here in a past relationship. You guys are steady moving forward. I just don't want you to miss something and get in your own way. But I see you're very strong, very confident. Okay? Very good. Very good. All right, guys. So that is what I have for you for the month of November. And I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.